good guys welcome back to ss reloaded it's been a while but we're most definitely back and we're better unfortunately we really couldn't make it down today for some other commitments but you know we keep it going we keep going strong as you can see today we're in south london where it all started for us and we're gonna go meet a special guest so yeah come along we got some new content coming up for you guys some new fresh original content but i feel like you guys are gonna love it man we're gonna expand what we do Take, take ourselves to the next level. So let's go. So today we're with Ty, we're gonna introduce him, man. That's all you, man. No, no, we're already, man. It's Addy. Hank, Addy. Hank, Addy. Oh, I didn't get that. No, usually, we come from the angle of letting you get inside to our guest lives through the studio, in the studio, through the camera. But today, you know, we've got the privilege of working with one of my close friends, you know, who's a, he's gonna be a great guest for us, but we're gonna live it. We're gonna, you're gonna, you guys are gonna live it first hand through us. We're gonna take you around South London where we both grew up, but just take you where all started for Addy and just start trying to show people that it's possible to make it out of here and make a living for yourself. So yeah, let's just get to it, man. No, it wouldn't be an Ank AD video if we didn't do a fit check. Talk to them, what? bro. What you got on? Wait, wait, what you got wait, on right wait, now? Wait. You got on right now? I got a little Ank bracelet with me. You know, only the pros get that. NWWL. Shout out Shay. Only I got some family, cool. Man. I got some cool braids on. I don't know. It wasn't too only much. The family. I don't want to do too much. I'm on a little silk shirt. You know, it's hot outside. Get the air rolling. Yeah, yeah, you that's how fly. we're doing. Look at I don't want to do too much. I donn't want to do too fly. much. Man. First episode. I was walking through the ends. He's trying to. He's trying to. You know. He's trying to. Hey, I don't know. Yeah, he's trying to yeah, let me know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Without further ado, let's get into it, man. So tell us where we are right now. Right now, Wolf Road. Um, this is where it really all started. It's the right there, top right hand corner. Um, a young boy just trying to transcend and get out of the hood. I mean, that sounds okay. corny, but it's corny. <laughs> you know but what I'm saying real, that's a, that, that was real, the goal man. back then. Um, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, everything seems so far away, but now look, we're here. You know, I'm gonna take you lot on a little tour around where I've been, what we've been doing, how I met Trav, and I feel like it's gonna be fun. Let's get, let's get straight into let's it, man. It's about how things started for, you know, like you coming up, before birth, well, I'm just talking life, so just growing up in this area. Yeah. Yeah, um, just talk to us about that. I mean, I was born in Nigeria. Yeah. I moved over here when I was around like seven years old. I don't think many people know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. And that's why I never played for the GP. That's the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. You already Wait, know. people, people even out tweet. They'll be like, "Why, why, why don't you want Eddie for England or GB?" I'm like, "Bro, oh, it's him and oh, yeah, 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 but I've yeah. been known. Back, back in the day, it was awkward for some reason. <laughs> like, I don't know why that was such a big deal. Um, yeah, I moved over here, just trying to get a better life for everyone, isn't it? Um, I think basketball was never something in my mind. It was just football at the beginning. You know, who, who wasn't at football? <laughs> Everyone that comes to this point, it was football. football. You know what I'm it was football at the beginning, and I don't know, I met an array of people playing basketball, and I just never thought I would be in the position I'm in today, bro. And I feel like going through this walk right now is kind of emotional for sure. I, know. I feel like it's definitely surreal, but you know, the type of life we live. Um, you never get a chance to sit down and really take in what you've done. No, most, it's always, most definitely, bro. It's it's, always, there's, always, there's always more to achieve. There's always what's yeah. next, you know? There's, it's, that's the mindset that got us where we are today. For sure. It's always what next. And I mean, doing this walk and doing this um, little talk and taking you guys through it is definitely bigger for me than it is for you guys. It <laughs> nah, must be, sure, bro. For sure. I've always wanted to do something like this. I have around it. This, this, this summer place. This summer place ain't hey, hey, for me, chill. man. Yeah. Summer's better than. Ah, oh, no, let me not say that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want no problems, bro. Park. Hey, this is the first ever park I remember playing and um, I'm going to tell you guys a little story about this park. I, at the beginning, I didn't really talk to much people and I didn't, I would go to school, go home. Um, TV wasn't there because it was, what, channel one to five? Bro, you know I didn't have Sky. Yeah, bro. Bro, yeah. You, know, you know there was no internet, bro. I, I ain't even got Sky to this day. I got yeah, my IG, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, I'll come out here, I get my little tennis ball, I'll be on this side, I'll be on this side right here, and throw the ball as far as I could. Bro, so bro, 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 a dog. <laughs> hey, 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 no. Hey, <laughs> throw it as far as I can, and then go, go catch it, and then just keep doing that. Only God knows how long I did that for. 
That's that's not where you go. My endurance, bro. Where is it? Throw the ball and go catch it. You see that? On these swans, bro. And then slowly you start making some friends, and then they start kicking ball, and you're like, ah, cool. I'm getting integrated into the whole system. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, I've been thinking about lately myself. Yeah, I don't know how we had fun doing such boring stuff. Throwing a ball and running after it is the worst thing. That's like a punishment to me now, my I used to think about it, like when I was younger, I used to love doing things like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know how. Yeah, yeah man. It's Adrian's in the heart of Kenna, you know. Wow, you grew up in the heart of Kenna. Hey, when I try to tell guys, no, it's not. Yeah, man. What's that? What, what's this area say? Like, what memories do you have around this area specifically? Um, or, you know. This is basically where I grew up. This little center right here, all my friends used to live up there in these buildings here. Um, you get the football out. And we used to play goalie right here. So this <laughs> is the, goal. the goal was right here on me. The goal was right here. Now I get ice cream. You go to the corner shop, you take a pound to the corner shop. Bro, you know what? Uh, talk, thinking about the corner shop days where a pound could get you a drink, a crisp, it was sweet. Juice, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man, a couple of you know what I'm saying? Life was good, bro. Days, bro. I'm saying. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. Li literally all my friends lived here. We just come down, chill here for a couple of hours after school, talk it up. This is where I first learned how to ride a bike. The man then was like, bro, jump on the bike. I was like, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I, don't know. I jumped on the bike. I was like, oh, I'm riding it, you know. I was like, yeah, it's light, it's light. And they got stabilizers in there. No, they got stabilizers, you know. I was sure I thought I was going to fall, fam. Wow, that's that's that, character building, though. Character yeah, building, man, so. I tried to do that when I was swimming as well. They were like, bro, you can swim. I was like, I can swim. But if you're going to get into the swimming thing of this guy, if you're going to get into the swimming thing of this guy, man. Let's keep it moving, man. school I was in. See everything you're seeing here, none of this was here before. This school's looking kind of it's looking kind nah, of bougie, this though. wasn't that this wasn't like, um, hey, imagine this whole place. If I give you this school I'll be I'll be a genius. I'll be motivated. Imagine this whole place is a pavement. And us man, the fun we had, the one who uh, and then you'd have um us man racing from fence to fence. <laughs> Fence to fence. So if you ever won, you was the alpha male of the school. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, wait. Look at, look at, look at, look at the basket over here. Yeah. There's, a, there's a basket and a goal on a, on a nice size pitch for these kids. I did, this, this, this must be the reason. That is talent, bro. We didn't have any of this. We didn't have any of this. <laughs> we didn't have any of this. We didn't have any of this. They just, I don't know when they put this in. They're running. <laughs> I go down. I come back. I didn't know how to stop. I ran into the fence. That's how I chipped my tooth. It's so, still chipped. That's a mad tooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was looking around though because I wonder what happened. Who's wearing Who's wearing Who's wearing Now right. they were looking around like, oh. Uh, do you think, do you think like this place is a place where you initially fell in love with football? It's like when you fell in like you got your touch for sport or just like your touch to find something you're passionate about and run and like run with it, drive like, make it drive you every day kind of vibe. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I think. Back then for me, it was a lot about community. Mm. Finding a group that I fit in with, finding a group that I feel accepted with, because you know, you're coming from a different country, you don't know anyone yeah. around, you kind of speak a different language at the same time. I think that's, I think that's, that's important, you know, because even when I was in school and we get international kids, I feel like it's the way I am now. Like, I think anybody can watch with me, but it's like, I think it's important to make people feel welcome, you get what I'm trying to say, and it's like, especially when you're in school, I feel like, like a lot of the young kids nowadays don't really have that kind of vibe, so I feel like for anybody watching, that's that's the correct way to be, man. You know, if you see somebody and they're new in the environment, they're not really, they're not really, you know, very familiar with. Yeah. Take them in, man. You know, it don't take much to speak to someone, ask them a question, ask them their name, where they're from, how they feel. You know, it's just. No, it definitely makes all the yeah, difference. It makes all the difference. Man. Just seeing someone and be like, "How you doing? How's your day going?" Imagine how your life would have been if people didn't take you in like that. It could have been a way different life for you, bro. That's how people get manipulated into negative things when you're younger, because. Mm. You're just going towards the comfort, right? Towards right. what people like, towards what people want to bring you in towards. You get what I'm trying to say? So, right. yeah, that's definitely a key thing, man. It's a human nature. You just want a connection. Not that's for sure. human nature for sure. 
I used to play netball though, so I was on the netball team. And um, what was that? I was on that note. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was cooking. Netball. I used to cook, bro. They used to be like, "Hey, Adi, you playing next week?" I'd be like, "I don't know if my mom's gonna let me or not." <laughs> yeah, the games. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. no, they used to. I used to be the. What's it called? I used to run it still. Yeah. I used to be the MVP of that team. <laughs> As we were talking about before, look, we're back, we're back in the real South London, you get what I'm saying? Let's be, let's be, let's be for real, man. Flip it, flip it. Yeah. You're about to lose your money, bro. You ready? Lockout, lockout. Back please. on, you understand? Yeah, that, that's not chin, that's two. <laughs> no, that's no, two. no. Wait, that's not again. No, lost, no, 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 no. Where's my money? Tell him, bring no. me my money. Bro, my no, money. bro, 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 bro. Oh, be for real, bro, be for real. Be for real. That's a chin up. We're doing pull ups, bro. Be for real. Come on, bro. Back on, bro. Come on, bro. That was four as well. He lacked. No, muscle, no, muscle no, up. No, no. Muscle up, muscle up. I'll put a million on it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Tell him to send me my money. Nationwide preferred. So, you feel like this place is where your mindset started shifting towards hard work. And, like, this is probably the place where you're putting your most hours outside of, you know, training with the school and stuff. Like, so just talk to us about how you think that molded your game, like some of the fundamental skills that you work on in the spare time and stuff. Like how do you think that molded your game into the player you are today, the player you've been, things along the lines, and how you just like initially dropped football and really, really locked in on basketball and put in extra hours in kind of thing. It's a deep question. Um, I think playing out here, let's be honest, it doesn't it doesn't really help your skill level in any way. But one thing that I can say that I got from here is the feel of the game, the touch of the game, how, I don't know, it's, it's a lot different than just picking up a ball and being a new player. But if you're out here just, I don't know, throwing the ball around, you, you just, you get, you get stuff, you get a touch, you get a touch for the ball, you get a touch for the game, you get a feel for how basketball is meant to feel like. You know, it's, it's kind of a hard thing to explain. You can't put it into words unless you just unless you, unless you live it, you can't you know put it into words. Yeah, 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 yeah no, most definitely. Just, you just kind of know. What was the second question? In the sense of like, do you think? No, no. The main question was just how you think it molded your game. To be fair, that's the main question. Um, I don't think there was much molding going on here. I think here was where I built my touch, and I started to learn when we'd play like three on three, four on four. I started to learn how to implement. My game. And uh, you know, you'd go to school, you'd learn something, you'd learn how to do a sky hook, or you'd learn how to do a step back, and then. But now, putting extra hours yeah, in for it. Okay. Now, now you're playing against someone, you see, you know, I can't do it like the way I did it in practice, I have to do it like this because my body works in a different type of way. Okay, it's live yeah. action. And if you know out here, out here it got it's got separate rules to it. No blood, so, no foul. Yeah man. No blood, no foul. So that's definitely where the physicality must come from for sure, for sure. know what the regal is but if you're the people that don't know I'm gonna let you know this is where London basketball was built it, it, a big, it, it, it seems it, like a big yeah. statement but anyone Definitely. in the London basketball Definitely. scene has touched this court at this point you, know? no, yeah, you, know, you, you got you gotta you gotta come here once to really say like let's say let's say you visited London you have to come here once if you're like to start to really see London basketball you get what I'm saying it's, it's like it's one of the only ways for sure man most definitely it's a real staple man it's definitely a staple but talk to us about like how you think this place helped your game or inspired you to take that step or just really hone on your craft um oh the first time i ever came and this was the first time i seen people at a high level play basketball instead of just treat basketball as a hobby people took it seriously that kind of motivated me a little bit because you wanted to be like the big boys yeah, and they never let you play with them and you're just sitting on oh, the side the you're watching them, you know what I'm saying? The stories are when we was younger, you come you come here and it's, if you're under 17, you got to go to the, there's two courts in here, you have to go to like the, the little man court, the Jordan court, so it's like them kind of things make you wake up a bit earlier just to get in there, man, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, after seeing that, you're like, nah, I want to be on the big boys side, that's just natural. Yeah. So, I mean, us man worked at it as a group, and it was really, it was really clutch. 
good that the people who own this place, we became really good friends with them. So we would be in here, no word of a lie, maybe from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. But like that time period didn't seem like work to us. Yeah, man, I feel like anybody who's part of our friend group, you know. Anks. Anyone's anks. Anybody's Anyone's anks or close to friend group. Anks and friends, that's how we call it. Anks and friends is like. Friends. This place really, I would say, changed our lives, man. You know, the people that met, the networking, the accessibility, you know, just somewhere in the heart of South London but you feel safe, man. You know, in an area in an area that we're in, it's, yeah, man, it's just yeah. like, it's a blessing. As soon as you cross that line, it might be bad, though. As soon as you cross that line, <laughs> it might be diff, man. It might be diff, but it's definitely a blessing. Stretching. Yeah, I think now Addy definitely caught him first, man. But you know, you get older, you start to realize. But I thought he jumped the gun a bit earlier. He's probably a bit more flexible than me now. We don't need to get nah. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, we finished workouts in the summer and I'm doing these 10 minute stretches. Everyone's like, let's go, man, let's go get the wings. I'm like, trust me, trust me. But to see the way this place developed, I remember when we was coming up, there was one box of rings. I think it's one ring. This, I think it's like this one. These are like this one, right? I think this one's just in the middle. I don't even remember it being in Yeah, it's one, I feel one, like one in the just, middle. Yeah, yeah. And it was like there was no bag. So I feel like, you know, every, like, what, this been here for a while, but, you know, every aspect of this place is getting better. I feel like every, like, there's a, like, the boxing academy now. Yeah, man, I feel like. It was never it was upstairs, was it? Never went upstairs. So the development's been crazy in here. Hey, let's see what your punches look like. Hit the bag, hit the bag real quick. Ah! <laughs> Couldn't get too many shots on the court today, you know. The Regal is pretty heavily Jordan and Knight sponsored, so to get on the court and film a lot of stuff is pretty hard. But you know, we film what we could on the court for you guys. But just like speak to us about, like delve into how you feel this place, like made you take the next step in terms of preparing to, for academy basketball and you know being ready to compete at a high level at the weekends with your age group and stuff and just yeah talk to us about that had a huge 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 impact on my development character building and mostly just learning about the game from other people's eyes watching other people and learning from them was a big thing because I was someone that I had found it easier to replicate things if I see them. I'm like a visual learner and that's one that's what they call it. Um, so being here and seeing people do what they do, especially in the summer when vets come back, um, all the guys come back and yeah. even people my own age when they do something that's kind of sick and I'm like, oh that keeps working, they keep doing that. I shout out to Edwin back in the day, he had the best shop yeah. in the world. Yeah. So learning from other people was a big thing for me and never thinking, oh, I know it all. Especially being around so much different talent that comes in and out. So of much, so much. You like, hit that place where a pro that plays in Indonesia would come to work out one day and never come back. But you might be lucky enough to see him on that day, catch a gem from him. Like I've met so many people here that, uh, that play basketball at the highest level possible, NBA players, people that have affected the game in so many ways, like even like shout out my coach Flo Larkai man, you know, he's my current coach now and I met him through this place. Like with that one story when um, I don't know if you remember the story, I think we was like 13, 14 and we just finished working out. And he goes, he probably doesn't even remember this story. He goes, first person to make a three gets a pound. Yeah. I forgot who it was definitely me that got the pound. <laughs> oh, he said definitely, so he definitely oh, me. I got I got the pound and he was like yeah, that's possible. You get paid to do that, so keep working at it. Like, that showed me a different angle. It was something so basic, but it was like, he's right. It's a gem that sits with you. Yeah, yeah, it's a gem that sat with me after that day, and it was like, yeah, that's why I get paid to do it. It was the principal and the, the teaching behind it that sat with me a little bit more. I mean, the pound was a lot back then. Oh, a pound, yeah, you, could, right. you, could, you could live with a pound back then, man. Yeah, so custard creams, a bev, your big chili, you can work until night. <laughs> No, for sure. Because you meet with people individually and how this place, you meet and them through this place, helped you in your journey. Like, you know, and I, and personally, I have some in mind. Like, for example, we have Coach Junior, you know, Ken and General's coach for most of our junior lives. Like, that's just an example, but can you name some other people that this place helped you meet that changed your life forever? 
for me it was a lot more I'm someone that's very principle and people orientated and less about the basketball side because I felt like the basketball side would always come I had that belief and confidence so I like the let me shout out um, Junior he, he went through a lot of injuries ACL and stuff and watching him rehab stay with it stay positive and come back and still working hard that was insanely inspirational to me and I, I had like I don't know still both knees everything fine with me and I was finding it hard to motivate myself sometimes even though it was just fun for me but seeing someone be able to do that and still speak to the younger generation with such passion and he had he had a kind heart you know because uh, one thing I would say about the scene back in the day is a lot of the older people weren't willing to put on the younger guys I don't know if it, was, yeah. if it seemed like a threat or it was a, a cockiness thing but there wasn't many that would take you under their wing and kind of show you the angle it was very much all for themselves and he was someone that stood out to me and would speak to me and kind of oh after I, uh, my strike obviously you know they seen that I was serious about what I was doing yeah. he kind of give, show me the way and kind of give me their blueprint that they used and what went wrong for them and how I could improve my journey which is I think I think that's what it's all about um, that's what it's all about oh, definitely shout out junior man shout out Hootspace is always part of Hootspace Shout out Hootspace UK, man. Or well, like, they use this place as it developed, as it grew, to help help boost their platform and change UK basketball with them. Shout out Joel, shout out Junior, shout out Ryan, shout out Pius, shout out Ryan Bound. Everyone down at Hootspace, man. Right, shout out man, sorry. Shout out everybody down at Hootspace, man. Helping the UK basketball, using the Regal, a place that we all love so much, you know. And that's just, as they saying, it's just like countless people like I didn't name one person but there's so many that I feel helped our basketball journey and helped us network and helped us grow helped and helped like inspire us you know what I'm saying yeah, like, I think what was most important about this place is it helped build character if it wasn't you getting dogged out by the older guys or getting messed with by your players like your friends or going through some stuff after practice. It's about learning. We come here, we learn so much. It was such older guys push you around a little bit. They send you to the shops. They make you go do things. But I feel like- Hey, hey, hey. Nobody ain't sent me to the shop. Nobody ain't sent me to the shop. That's was, what I'm gonna say. Hey, there's a story about him. He, he told someone to go to the shop for him. They brought him a drink half open. <laughs> he didn't do nothing about it too. Let me let me move on. He didn't do anything about it. I got my get back. No, you didn't. Um, so definitely part, up. part of that. Nah, he knows, he knows, he knows. I go. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but all of those little things is character building because at the end of the day, skill comes with hard work, skill will come, and with focus and drive and determination, all that good stuff, all of that comes. But what's important is character. And I think this place really built that for us through coaching. Shout out Coach Junior, as you mentioned. I mean, he would run us a little bit, he would shout us, and back then we didn't really understand what he was saying and what message he was trying to get through to us. But now you sit back and think about the things he was saying and the messages that he was trying to get through to us and it was about your character and being a good person, being down to earth, um, standing on your word, being a reliable person. And being, and being reliable on the court is very, very like, reflective of who you are as, as a person, person right? every yeah, most time. definitely. If you play against someone that's not reliable, nine out of ten times off the court, you can't rely on them. Yeah. And that's just how that stuff worked. And you started to see it translate more and more and more. And the things that people used to tell you when you were younger, you, you see it come into fruition. When you was young back in the days, so you didn't really understand what they were saying. But yeah, this place for me is one word I could, I could say was character building played a big role in me as a character now, the type of person I am, my personality, and how I carry yeah, myself on a yeah, day-to-day basis, definitely. for sure. Every single day, just do what you're meant to do, and you're gonna be ahead of the pack. You're gonna be ahead of at least 90% of the people, because doing the right thing every day is very hard. It's not hard, but a lot of people aren't doing it. So, do the right thing every day, and those things will compound. 
you do it every day, no matter the good days, the bad days, you do it. Regardless, do it, just do it, just do it. And you're gonna see the results in three, four years time and you're not gonna notice where all the time went, but all that work you put in day to day, doing the right things and slowly getting ahead day by day and stacking those days, it compounds, it definitely, definitely compounds. Yeah, that's, that's my only thing, do the right thing every day. Appreciate that, bro. Thank you, man. It's been a pleasure. Ah, uh, no way. Ah, uh, it's our SS reloaded, man. Yeah.